This is going to be a tutorial for the bullion or roll stitch. I've heard it called both. And this is some of my little practice pieces. I created a homemade device to help make it easier. I had a hard time creating this stitch just with the crochet hook alone. So I have two different ways of actually completing the stitch. Okay, so typically you take and just wrap the yarn around your hook however many times you want to do it. And I've learned that if you put it through the thicker area of the hook, the chances of being successful are greater. So I may or may not make it with this one, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. But this is the way the stitch is done without any of my little contraptions. And see, and see, this is usually what happens to me when I try to do this stitch. We'll give it one more shot and see what happens. The looser the threads are, the better your chances are of being successful. Maybe I can make it this time. Nope. That's what always happens to me. So I created something so the stitch will be successful. I have found that using a piece of plastic tubing and there's many many different sizes out there. This is actually the plastic cut from around the cable that you use for your cable TV. And so I'm just gonna wrap this around. Maybe I'll do it there's three, four, five, six times. And now just put the hook through your chain, pull it through, and now pull down and make sure your hook goes through your plastic piece, just like that. Then you can pull it on out. You've completed a quick bullion stitch. Now put your plastic piece back on. This way is a little bit more time consuming, but actually I have had a success rate with this one. We'll try the same thing again. Well, what I'll do is pull through a chain to secure that stitch. Now I'll wrap it around six times. Four, five, six. I'm going to put it through the chain and get a hold of my plastic tubing, pull it through. I've completed another stitch. So that's one way. And with this one I was using an eye crochet hook and this tubing, I'm not sure what the size is, but you can find lots of plastic tubing at your local home improvement store. And it's cheaper to actually buy the tubing. I bought 10 foot of two different sizes. I really don't need that much, but that's what I bought because it was cheaper to buy the roll of it than it was to buy a little individual piece. And now this is using an F crochet hook and a smaller piece of plastic tubing. And I'm just going to basically do the same thing. I'll wrap it around two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven this time and see what happens. Pull it through and then make sure the end comes down through the tube. Pull it through like that. 
pull the tube out and secure your bullion or your roll. And put the tube back on. We'll do that one again. We'll do five this time. One, two, three, four, five. Put it through the chain, pull it through, and pull it through the tube like that. And we've completed another bullion or roll. You can see how the sizes are different. This, of course, is using an F crochet hook. You will be able to use the same tube with crochet hooks that are similar in size. Of course, the larger ones you'll have to move up to a larger piece of plastic tubing. And see, for instance, like this is the one I used first on the I crochet hook, and this is the one I just used on the F crochet hook, and you can see there's a little difference in the size. Now this is my second technique, and I actually like this one the best of all. And I'm using the plastic tubing to keep a tapestry needle in place. And this is an I crochet hook, and I just, what I do is I pick up the loop like this. You want to make sure that the tapestry needle goes through the loop and I'll do this one with, I'll wrap it over five times and see what we're doing is, and it, and it can be loose, the looser is better and what we're doing is keeping the yarn away from the hook so it doesn't grab a hold while you're pulling it through and so we go down here like this and you'll want to put this loop in between the hook and the end of the tapestry needle. Pull it through and continue pulling it through all the loops just like that and it forms a nice little roll there. And then wrap the yarn over and pull through once to secure. And now you'll want to make sure your tapestry needle goes through the loop. We'll do six this time. Four, five, six. Put it through the chain like that. Wrap the yarn over, pull it through, and continue. Grab a hold of the all the stitches and kind of help keep them snug. And then just pull it on through like that and you'll get a nice and even stitch and then pull through once to secure this is what I have so far you can see the different sizes this, these here are with the tubes these two are with the tapestry needle and I like using this method best of all because I can move along pretty fast and now this is with the F crochet hook and I'm using a smaller piece of tubing. I'll put the sizes, the, I'll put the two sizes of tubing that I have on my crochet blog for reference. And this is just done the same way as with the eye hook, but I'm just showing a difference, how to use it with a different size. Then you take and you put your hook through the chain. You pull it through hold on to your loops and then pull it through just like that and you make a nice little roll there and I found that the smaller hooks actually make the nicest rolls for instance if you're crocheting with a size H crochet hook you could use an F hook to make your bullion or your roll stitch so you don't the hooks don't have to be the same size I'll show again how to do this one. The success rate is really good doing it this way, I found. Because I could not do this stitch. 
Someone asked if I knew how to do it about two weeks ago, and I told them that I had struggled with it, which I, you can see in the beginning of the video, I still struggle with it doing it the way that I understand how to do it regularly. But doing it this way, which is keeping the yarn away from the hook and will allow the hook to pass through the roll. And this gives it a really, this will give you a really good success rate making the bullion stitch. And you can wrap it around the hook however many times you want to. I found that eight is probably about the limit because then you start to get too many on there and then it kind of turns into a mess. And you can pull it up and adjust your bullion if you want it a little bit longer like that. You can kind of play around with it and adjust it in, in length just like that and make it a little bit longer so you don't have to make short little bullions. And then this is what the back side looks like. You have a little, you have a piece of yarn of course which is where you're going from the bottom to the top. If you want to pull your loop a little more snug like that, you can pull it a little more snug and pull it through just like that. And there's what I have. And that's two of my contraptions on how to create the bullion stitch.